dazzling car. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. This is going to be my video where I kind of defend the upcoming Child's Play remake because next week will be the release of the Child's Play remake on the same weekend that Toy Story 4 comes out, which I'm still not entirely sold on if I want to see this over Toy Story 4. Uh, but getting into the point of this video, most of the people who or most of the fans of the original Child's Play are a little upset about this remake. And I really don't understand why, because for one thing, yes, you have the right to be upset. But at the same time, when you're constantly looking at things as competition, when you're constantly looking at things as a negative, a negative and not trying to put them in terms of what this could mean for the for the all for the already existing continuity that not only you love, but I also love. There's a plenty of benefit to come from this remake. For one thing, Don Mancini can have a fire lit under him because let's be honest, the last few Child's Play films that have come out have not been the best. Yes, I enjoy all of them, but Cedar Chucky, not good. Curse of Chucky, back on track and decent. Then we go right back downhill again with Cult of Chucky. We start doing all this wacky stuff and really we don't even get the best film that we possibly could have that was teased for so long in between Curse and Cult. Now we have talks of this TV ship, this TV series that's going to be airing on Sci-Fi sometime next year, I believe. And I do think that with this remake coming out, this is going to put Don Mancini in a position where he says, hey, I'm going to have to come out and finally put out something that's serious. Because I feel like Don Mancini, he got comfortable with the fact that he was the only person making Chucky movies. And for, if it, for those of you who did not know, MGM always had rights to do a child's play film. They they could have they had rights to the original movie. They could have done this remake at any point in time in the past and they chose not to. Don Mancini had plenty of time to do something creatively with this property and for 9 years we got no Chucky. We got Seed of Chucky and then nothing. We could have got we could have had a, a breath of Chucky films and whole plethora of them or different ideas something and the series could have been over before we couldn't even been talking about anything regarding chucky and Don Mancini right now to this day if we had actually gotten something in between seed of chucky for all those years that we got no chucky Don Mancini had plenty of time to do something with this property and it seems like he he is no longer just like taking it seriously he's really honing in on the comedy and i want to get back to chucky being scary again so this remake is not going to be a hindrance to Don Mancini. This is something that I feel like is well needed because of the fact that I think that he needs competition. It seems like he needs competition to get back on track. And we'll see how this remake does next Friday with his reception from critics and audiences, or probably sometime late this weekend, early next week, we'll see what the people think about it and what critics think. But I do think that this Child's Play remake will be just what is necessary for Don Mancini to write down a TV series that is worthy of the Chucky we all know and love. And for those of you who want to stay loyal to Don Mancini's series and the continuity that he's already created, that's fine. But do not look at this remake as something that is overly negative and something that is atrocious. Because for one thing, another complaint I see is the design of Chucky. Why do you want it to look like the one from Don Mancini's creation? I see no reason why it should look like that, especially when they're supposed to be two completely separate continuities, two separate doll identities with different origins. So it, it doesn't really make any sense for it to say, share the same resemblance to the original doll. Yes, it could have, but it doesn't. And I'm glad it really doesn't. Uh, the doll design does not look crappy at all. There's some bad shots being released of the doll that I would say, yeah, that, that doesn't really look too good. But overall, the design of him is fine. We're all just honing in on the fact that we want to compare it to the old. When really we need to just appreciate what we have and then look at this new thing. And if it's crap, I'm going to tell you it's crap. But I'm not going to just sit down and just bash this movie simply because I'm a diehard Don Mancini continuity fan. I love what Don Mancini has done with the series. I love the Chucky series, but the direction it has gone in for a long while has not been that good. Let's just be honest about it. It's not consistent at all. And if this this remake launches a series of new movies with Chucky where 
Diamond Cena has competition, I'm all for that because now we'll see what he'll do in return, how he'll respond to this competition. That those are my thoughts on the Child's Play remake. Stop being so like negative towards it and just give it a chance because with the existence of this remake, you actually should be hoping that it does well because this could send a message to Don Mancini to get back on track and you might get you may get something even more better than you expected from this sci-fi TV series that's set to come out late next year, early next year sometime. Let me know what you guys think about this video down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe and turn on post notifications. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know what movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.